Our precast facility has been a uh, division within our group for many years, and uh, what we were finding happening is the we needed to create a competitive advantage. We had to. Uh, we were actually at the point of considering even closing down our precast division. It was it, it, uh, it was got to that point, and the reason for it had been is that we were not really, as an organisation, able to add a significant value value to, to the manufacture of precast shapes. We were manufacturing very small components. It was very labour intensive. And what happened was we established a cooperation with an American company called Allied Mineral uh, Products. And um, they invited us to the United States and uh, some of our management team went across there. They came back extremely enthusiastic with, with what they saw in the, in, in, the, in the US in terms of the technology that was being utilized, um, equipment that would enable us to mechanize and just actually re revolutionize our precast facility completely from the mixing all the way through to the polystyrene wire cutting uh, equipment. It did entail a large investment. We've invested almost 10 million rand in the upgrading of the plant. But it was a, a decision that we took knowing um, what the skill shortage that we were experiencing in the country. Um, we're also a refractory construction company. So we, we know what it entails and the, and the shortage of refractory bricklayers. Um, and it's the same problem that m many of our customers are experiencing. And having seen the different applications for precast shapes, some of the examples that we, I discussed with you earlier was regarding the manufacturing of precast ladles in, um, in large modular components. And that in itself has been able to cut down the, the time. Um, there's multiple benefits, the quality, the speed of installation, uh, the time involved. Um, and we've su supplied one um, lining to a, c a customer who's been extremely enth enthusiastic and it was very well received. And there's many, many customers in South Africa that we've already been in discussions with about us manufacturing precast ladles for them. In addition to that, we've been manufacturing components for um, large ducting sections, for sinter plants as well, um, and much larger components that will, than what we used to manufacture previously. And that in itself has revolutionized our precast division. We've seen already in the short space of time a uh, considerable increase in revenue. The business is, uh, division is much, far more profitable than it was previously. So we, we're extremely positive about it. And as a result of it, we, we've, we're going to be expanding the division even further um, in terms of space. And it, it precast does require a lot of space. So once you've, you've manufactured the products, you have to be able to pre-assemble them. Um, but it, it, in terms of our, our, one of our divisions in our group, we're really pleased that we, we didn't take the decision to close it down and actually rather reinvesting it, we're investing in the, in the facility.